So this problem asks us what's the molality of a solution, not the molarity. What's the molality of a solution that contains 100 grams of glucose that's dissolved in 1.5 liters of water? So what we're going to do here is divide moles of solute, and there's our glucose, divided by the kilograms of solvent, that's our water. But there's a couple little catches here. They give us the mass of glucose, not the moles of glucose, so we have to do a quick mole to mass conversion. So we're going to take the mass that they give us, 100 grams, multiply it by the molar mass, actually divide by the molar mass, but multiply by one mole over 180, then we end up with 55.56 moles of glucose. That's a number we can put on top of our fraction now. And then kilograms of solvent, that's our water, goes on the bottom. Now the problem gives it to us in liters, but due to the density of water, remember one gram is equivalent to one milliliter, so therefore one kilogram is equivalent to one big liter. Since we know the density of water, we know this conversion, we could just say 1.5 liters is also 1.5 kilograms. So we're basically going to plug in our moles on top and our kilograms on the bottom, divide through, and the molality of the solution is 37.